I'm a general internist at Bellevue Hospital in New York. I'm an assistant professor of medicine at the NYU School of Medicine and an associate investigator at Geisinger Health in Pennsylvania. I love working in New York City and at Bellevue Hospital specifically. Every day, you never know what you're going to see. One day, it could be a patient from Rikers Island who's been admitted with chest pain, and you don't know if it's real or fake, but you have to treat it as if it's real. The next day, it could be someone who's homeless. The next day, it could be someone who was brought to Bellevue by an ambulance and didn't expect to be there, but still gets the best care in the world. I made the decision to pursue internal medicine in the beginning of medical school. Right away, I saw all of the interesting questions I would face every day, and I was drawn in. I recognized that being an internist would allow me to research across a broad realm and then apply my research to clinical practice. One week, I would be asking research questions about medication adherence and asthma, and the next week, I would be treating an asthmatic patient. Internal medicine is really exciting today, and I would argue that it's the best place for someone who's in training to consider. It allows you to be on the front lines of medicine. Internal medicine is in the center of all of the important debates going on today, whether it's preventive care, healthcare financing, or deciding on the future directions for research. Internists have the best perspective and the loudest voice. Working in internal medicine gives you the most options and, frankly, the most interesting options. It provides you with an enviable quality of life, more exposure to a wide range of diseases and disorders, and camaraderie with a broader range of people. Being an internist cannot be quantified in terms of a paycheck.